So a big test for your players tomorrow, how much are you looking forward to it? We're always looking forward to games, especially against top full members, which Pakistan are one of them. And the guys are up, the guys are always up for it. So we're looking forward to playing against them. And with the World Cup hopefully coming on the horizon in a few years' time for you, how much do these games really prepare you for the big stage? I think it does because we, we get to play against teams like this and we get to know where we are in, in world cricket um, in, from a 50 over point of view. So it's good for us that we can play against them now so we know what we have to do when we get to the World Cup. And plenty of the guys are in good form. Are you happy with the way the squad are performing? Yeah, yeah the, especially the guys at county. We've had guys performing regularly and, and doing well at county level. So they're coming in with some sort of form. So it's, it's always great to hear that. And you have a few team selection dilemmas in your hands? Never have dilemmas. You know, you just, everybody, everybody knows, well, look, this is, this is what's happening. And who we play, whoever we play tomorrow, they're going to do the job. So it's, it doesn't become a dilemma then. And a quick word for the conditions here. How do you expect the pitch to play? Um, usually the pitch here plays a little bit slower than, than, than normal. But it looks a very good wicket um, from seeing it today. And hopefully it will be a good enough cricket wicket that we can you know, play well and win the game. And Pakistan, obviously, as you mentioned, are one of the big, big hitters on the world stage. Who are you most looking forward to taking on? Well, I think all of them. I think with Pakistan, you don't you don't pick and choose. I think all all their players are going to be hard to deal with because they're exciting players. They they, they play with a lot of instinct, and, and and that's the that's the dangerous one. So you know you've got to look at everybody and make sure that you're ready for everybody. Alex, big few days ahead of you. You must be looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great challenge for the team to play Pakistan again. Um, hopefully, we can get one or two wins out of it as well, which will be even better. And on your home ground here, you're used to conditions. How do you think that will benefit you particularly? Um, hopefully with the ball, I sort of know which parts of the wicket you can get a bit of extra bounce out of and things like that. So uh, mostly with the ball, and I suppose batting on it, uh, I'll be used to it as well. So hopefully you can get a few runs as well. And you've established yourself in this Ar the Ireland middle order. How do you think uh, this summer will progress for the Irish team particularly? You know, we've got the World Cup qualifiers coming up. Yeah, I think all the lads are in, in pretty good form at the moment. So... Um, going into the World Cup qualifiers, hopefully we're hitting our peak again, so that will be the main thing, and, and qualifying for the next World Cup will be the big one, you know, so. And with all the talk about Test Match State is floating about, do you think there's more pressure on the team to perform in these sort of games? Um, I think there's always pressure on us to perform now, since we've beaten a few of the big sides, um, you know, the public expects a fair bit of us now, so there's always that pressure, but, um, you know, we just got to forget about that and play our game and see how we do you know and finally um, your own form as well who are you in particular looking forward to taking on the Pakistan team um, Mohammed Irfan uh, looks like an interesting prospect a 7 foot 1 bowler so it should be uh, interesting facing him and obviously Saeed Ajmal as well um, is another great bowler so it would be great to face those guys and see how we go you know? thanks for that.